What up, what up, Fire TV? It's your boy Scott from Oklahoma. Boom! I don't care what anyone says. That was cute. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, that's my that's my boy uh, Sawyer. He is five years old. Wanted to jump in here and say, what up, what up? All right, guys. So what I'm going to do today is walk you guys through how to install Fire TV Guru on your PC or vanilla Cody or Media Center, whatever you guys are using, all right? Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Cody 17.6 for this video. Here we are, here we are, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That is what you guys are seeing on the splash screen. I, I'm seeing uh, a lot of you guys are getting some issues going on with um, um, it not appearing on, like, specifically the Fire TV devices. Anyways, guys, so let's move on. Let's let's go to it. Hope you guys enjoyed that little bit. I thought it was kind of cool. All right, so, guys, what we're going to do, right, we're going to go ahead and click on that little cogwheel up there for your settings. We're going to click that up there on the top, right below Cody. We're going to click it. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to system settings, right? Over here on the right. Now we're going to go over here to the left. You see where it says add-ons? We're going to click it. Click add-ons. All right. Now you see over here where it says unknown sources. We're going to go ahead and click the unknown sources. And then, yes, we want to go ahead and allow third-party access to your device. Yes. Without doing that, guys, you guys will not be able to install any programs at all. Um, that are not Cody related. All right, cool. So now, guys, what we want to do is want to hit that back button one time. All right, cool. So from there, guys, we want to go over here. We want to go to the bottom there. On the bottom right, it says File Manager. Click on that File Manager. And you're going to see over here on the left side, it says Add Source. We want to click Add Source. Now, guys, once we click Add Source, we're going to click inside that box right there that says None. It's going to be the blue highlighted box. You can't miss it. It's, <laughs> it says None. Click on that. And then, guys, you're going to type in exactly this. It's got to say that ex exactly, guys. All right. It's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fire TV guru dot info forward slash fire. Now, guys, make sure that you're entering in that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Seeing a lot of people commenting here on YouTube, commenting in the Facebook group and all these other places about how it's not working. All right. And come to find out it's because the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash was not entered or the fire was not entered, or the next common thing is people are still entering the old addresses .net instead of .info. So guys, just make sure that your address that you've entered in looks exactly like that. All right, cool. So I'm going to move forward. We're going to go over here. We're going to click on this OK button. Once we get the OK button, you guys are going to see right there where, I, where it says fire. You guys can click inside that right there. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Your dog's name, your cat's name, your parrot's name, your 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 chimpanzee's name, your, mon your monkey, whatever. Your zebra. If you got a zebra, name it your zebra. <laughs> but one bit of advice, guys, if you're married, don't name it your girlfriend's name, all right? Or if you're at your girlfriend's house, don't name it your wife's name. Bad move. Just going to say, bad move. All right, cool. So I'm going to leave it fire for the sake of this video right here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that OK button. So we're going to click OK. Now, guys, I'm going to scroll down, right? I'm going to click on OK right here. Now, we've got that bit of information in there, right, in the, in the root file manager information. So, guys, now what we want to do is want to hit that back button. We're going to hit it two times, and it's going to bring us right back here. Should I'll be right back at this screen right here, guys. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here on the bottom left over here. You see where it says add-ons? We're going to click on that add-ons icon. All right. Now you see the icon up top there. It says it's got the, it looks like a little drop box, right? We're going to click on that little drop box. Now, guys, what are we going to do, right? We entered in the, the repository zip file address, right? So now what we need to do is we're looking to install the repository. So we're going to install the repository from the zip file. All right. Now, what did you name it? I named mine Fire, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on Fire or whatever you named it. You can click on it. All right, cool. Now, you see the repositories, right? It's right there, right? So what we're looking to do is fetching the repository. So we're going to click the repository. And you're going to see it pop up there in the top right corner. It's going to say Fire TV Guru Repo Add-on Installed. So now we've got the repository installed. So now what do we do? We're looking to, to install the Fire TV Guru Wizard. The Wizard is a program add-on, all right? But we're going to install it from the Fire TV Guru repository. So we're going to go to Install from Repository. We're going to go to the Fire TV Guru repo. You see currently the repo is 1.0.1. .1, so we're going to click on the repo. And then we're going to go down here. It is a program add-on. So we're going to click on Program Add-ons. 
And then you see the Fire TV Guru Wizard right there, right? So we're going to click the wizard. And it's going to get this pop-up right here. We're going to click on install. Check it out. Let's see what happens. Boom! Fire TV Guru Wizard has been installed. You're going to get this little pop-up right here, guys. Now, I will tell you, you know, usually there's a lot of good information in here. Right now, I've got, I, we sent out a notification to everybody that's currently using the build, so that way they get the new repository. You guys already have the repository, for, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and move on and click on Dismiss. But give this a read, because there's always, always, always good information in there, guys. And don't just hit that Dismiss button. Give it, Check it out first, all right? So Save yourself the trouble. So we're going to click on dismiss. And then you're going to get this pop up right here, right? Usually what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and click on clear cache at startup. But then again, I'm constantly deleting and updating and doing all kinds of things. So if you're a professional and you know what this, <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not really professional. But anyways, you know what all this other stuff is, guys. You guys can go ahead and in, the, in there, save what you're looking to save. Save your add-on information, your track, your real to bridge, log in. Um, Luke is actually gone now, so that's probably going to do nobody any good um let's see here and so cool so i'm going to go ahead and click on continue all right guys you're going to get this build menu pop up right here right it's going to it's pretty basic basically basically just telling you uh, the current build that's installed you guys have nothing this is a plain jane vanilla cody um so we're going to go ahead and just click on the build menu that's probably going to pop up an error for me you know but that's all right here's what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on this uh I'm going to go ahead and click on the, uh, hit that back button. Hit the back button one time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on FTG Wizard. And then I'm going to click on Open. Check it out. I don't know why I got that, that, that error just now. I'll dig into it a little bit more and see what's up with that. All right, cool. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're looking to install the build, right? So we're going to go over here to Builds. All right, we're going to go over here to Fire TV Guru or Fire TV Build Krypton. Right now I'm on Krypton, guys. If you guys are on Jarvis, you're going to see the Jarvis builds in there. If you're on 18, you're going to see the 18 builds in there. However, 18 at this current moment is not developed yet. So um, don't, don't install it on 18 if you see it in there. All right, cool. So for the sake of the video, we're using Krypton. I'm going to go in here. Which one do I want to use? Guys, the first two right there, the Fire TV Build Krypton, the Fire TV Build Krypton Backup, right? The backup's just in there. It's it's actually a backup, three extra backup servers just in case the, the uh, first three go down. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and click on that first one right there, right? Now, guys, we just did... We just did this on a clean install so we're just going to go ahead and click standard install if you're not on a clean install guys and you and you're going through and you're you're doing a you know doing an update click on that fresh and fresh start then install all right cool so i'm going to go ahead and click on standard install it's going to pop up this menu. It's going to say, do you want to install it well heck yes i want to install it right i didn't go this far for nothing so yes install and then we're going to pick a server. What server do we want to install it from? So I'm going to click on server number one. If server number one's not working, guys, use server number two. If server number two's not working, use server number three. If server number three is not working, use the backup servers. That's what they're there for. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and let this thing install. Let's see what happens. All right, so it just downloaded, and now it's going to actually install to the device. So just let it run through and do its thing. Once it gets done installing, guys, it's going to pop this up, and it's going to tell you you need to force close it, right? So, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to click on OK, and let's force close it. Now, once we force close it, right, no matter if you're on an Amazon Fire device, it's going to take you back to the home screen or to the, to the you know, to the menu or... Uh, manage applications menu anyways guys no matter where it takes you go ahead and click on um um the four stop if you're on an amazon device click four stop click clear cache and then click open launch or launch application right so cool let's see what happens when we hit launch application here we go here we go anyways right here guys this is the, this is what you're seeing right here right i've got volume turned down so this, nope, just kicked it back up anyway so guys this is what you're seeing right here Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this bad boy load up. It's going to load the build for us. Give it a second, guys. You see on the bottom right right there, you see everything starting to update and go through. Anyways, um, so we're going to let everything go through and update, and we're going to let the Fire TV Wizard do its thing. Give it about three to five minutes, I think is good to say. 
All right, cool. So everything for me just went through and everything looks like it's updated through, right? Now, guys, you guys may still be updating. Give it, like I said, give it three to five minutes. That's a good number to do. Anyways, I've got a pretty decent internet speed, so everything just kind of flew right through for me. All right, cool. So, guys, now we got the build installed, right? You're happy go lucky and everything looks good, right? So, we're going to scroll over here, guys. A couple things that I always like to tell everybody to do after doing an install, right? I like to always tell people to do a total cleanup, right? We're going to click that total cleanup right there on the top right. Uh, above the FTG wizard right there and we're going to click on clean all this just basically removes all the packages that's left over from the install all right cool so now guys lastly right well I, well, I shouldn't say lastly. Let's go ahead and go through because I know that we do have some people in here that got to have their porno stuff, right? Cool. So, guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So, we're going to click on... I'd have it, too, if my wife would shoot me. All right? So, cool, guys. We're going to go over here. We're going to click on Packs and Fixes. If you don't want the, the adult content, just hang tight a second. All right, guys. So, what did we install? What did you install? Did you install the main build or the light build, right? You're going to see right there it says Adult Add-on or uh, XXX Add-ons, Krypton Main Build. You're going to click on that, right? We're going to click it. I'm not going to go ahead. Oh. Let me back up. Right there, we're going to go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to install, right? Click on install, and it's going to tell you to force close. Force close it, and then relaunch it, and then pick up here just a second where we're at. Guys, I'm not going to install it for the sake of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and hit no, cancel. All right? Cool. So, guys, everybody sees what happened right there, right? So, cool. That's what I'm at. That's where I'm at. Now, last bit, guys, for everybody on here, right? Once you've re re relaunched it, all you perverts no i'm just kidding anyways once you've relaunched the right guys scroll on over let it do its thing it's going to update through some of the add-ons again right all right cool so now guys everybody what we should do is go over here to advanced settings all right now this right here is basically going to tell you the video cast all or size it's going to read the buffer mode all of this stuff is based on how much space is on your device what device you're in and all that no two are really going to be the same guys so this right here will automatically configure it if you guys are smart enough and you know the algorithm to the whole to the whole planet of cody world you guys can go in here and set your own buffers and all that stuff right all right cool and you see the buffer mode i've got it only buffer true internet file systems now if you guys don't want any buffer you can click on no buffer or buffer all fire systems or you guys can go ahead and buffer all internet files whatever you guys want to do but what i like to do is just go over here and just click on this bottom left right here click write file and it automatically writes and knows exactly the device that i'm using right so you guys should be able to scroll through it and pretty easy and and you know see everything's loading up pretty quick right all right cool last bit guys all right if you guys or on sorry last bit but if you guys have a real deep red right all you wanted all you're gonna have to do is click on these two right here you see the earl resolvers and the resolver Earl. you can click on earl resolver for example and it's going to pop up and it's going to tell you to enter this in blah 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 so guys there's there it is right there so we're going to hit cancel right i don't need to do it and you can do the same thing on resolve Earl right there now guys now i promise you this is the last bit a lot of you guys don't like the backgrounds, right? The backgrounds is a big deal to a lot of people. To me, I'm just looking at the backgrounds for about five seconds until I find my video. However, we did go through, right, FTG themes. A lot of people didn't like that I put the uh, Transformers out there, right? I'm just going to tell you the beginning of it all. A lot of people didn't like I put the Transformers out there because my five-year-old loves the Transformers, right? Well, anyway, so what we did is we went through in here, built this little thing. Look, you guys have all your themes in here, right? And we constantly will be adding more and more and more. So, guys, just give it a pick through and see which ones you guys want to go through. I'm just going to, for example, use my vets one, right? So, I'm going to click on my vets. All right. And you're going to get a little notice right here from the program, right? So, guys, we're going to click on proceed. Give it just a second. It's going to install some superpowers. All right. Cool. Here it is right there. Now, guys, hurry up and shut this down. No, I'm kidding. Don't hurry. Grandma, I'm kidding. It's not going to catch fire, right? Guys, we're going to click on that OK button, right? What it's going to do, it's going to force close Cody. So click on OK and then hit Launch Application. Check it out. And we just launched her up, guys. We're going to go through the little, the little intro video here again. Ding, 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 ding. Watch this. Something cool is about to happen. You clear the clear cache and all that goodies. Give her a second. Let it load up. Boom, check it out guys, we got our Corvette stuff, right? Anyways guys, this changes, this is just changes the themes. Now you guys can go through there as many times as you want. Go ahead and change the themes, find something that you guys like. Anyways, there's 